Greetings, everyone. This is Tina Harris, your crystal whisperer. And it is warming up here in good old Be More. And it's time for Magic Monday. And I thought I would do something a little different today. And many of you may or may not know, I'm also a great lover of the plant kingdom as well as of the mineral kingdom. So when I looked outside about a week or so ago, to my happy surprise, I saw that a number of my herbs in my garden have come back. So today I would like to talk to you about thyme. Thyme is a hardy perennial that seems to thrive in most climates, though it prefers well-drained alkaline soil and a sunny location. Seeds can be sown directly in the garden, in spring or indoors, in flats for an earlier start. Now there are many varieties of thyme, some of which grow upright and others that are creepers. For medicinal purposes, choose common garden thyme, thymus vulgaris, or lemon thyme, which is great for honey and tea. The main parts used for medicine are the leaf and the flower. And like most herbs, it loves to get a frequent haircut. The more you trim an herb, the bushier it gets. And I'm actually surprised that a lot of my herbs are already starting to flower. So I definitely want to trim this back pretty soon. Thyme is very high in chromium, iron, silicon, and contains lots of calcium, cobalt, magnesium, manganese, riboflavin, selenium, sodium, and thiamine. It also has average amounts of niacin, tin, and vitamin A, and small amounts of phosphorus, potassium, protein, and vitamin C. Thyme's main ingredient is thymol. This ingredient is responsible for its healing properties. It's antibacterial, antioxidant, antispasmodic, aromatic, astringent, carminative, and expectorant. As an expectorant and antispasmodic, thyme is perfect to reach for when you've got any type of respiratory illness. I love making a syrup out of thyme for coughs and colds that I keep throughout the winter. And because thyme has an affinity for the lungs, you'll find thyme to be very helpful for any illness associated with the lungs. Thyme can be quite effective in treating whooping cough, and it will help to calm those spasmodic coughs that seem to never end. At the same time, if the cause of the cough is bacterial in nature, thyme will help to kill off the bacteria too. If you have an acute bronchial infection, coughs that are wet and spasmodic, otherwise known as chest colds, thyme is great to reach for. Thyme also works great for treating irritations of the throat. If you're suffering from sinusitis, thyme will help to liquefy and clear up congestion. Thyme is an aromatic which means it's fragrant. Though a lot of times I just love to rub the leaves, a lot of the herbs and just smell it. And it has such a calming effect. Aromatics are key for assisting in digestion also. Smells and tastes get our digestive juices flowing, making us have an appetite and helping our bodies process food that we put into them. As a carminative, thyme will prevent gas from forming or help our body to expel it if it is stuck in our stomach or intestines. 
And it's also useful to make a weak tea out of it and treating babies with colic. Parasitic worms such as roundworms and flatworms, such as flukes and tapeworms, don't like to hang around when time is consumed. That's because time is amphlementic, which means it inhibits and expels parasites from the body. Time is full of antioxidants, and according to Rosemary Gladstar, has a positive effect on the glandular system as a whole, and especially the thymus gland. You could actually make a nice salve out of time and apply it over your upper chest and gently tap it to help strengthen its effect on the thymus gland, thereby enhancing immune function. The thymus gland is very important in your body Immature T cells from bone marrow live in the thymus gland until they are mature. The best thing about thyme is that it's very versatile. You can use it in the form of a traditional medicine such as a tincture or a tea or a salve, or you can use it in the form of food and cook with it, or you can use it to make an oil or vinegar or a honey. And honey infused thyme is really tasty and soothing to sore throats and coughs. And it is really easy to make and it will last a long time. You just simply get a mason jar. You could use fresh or dried thyme. If you use fresh thyme, then just go ahead and loosely pack a jar full of it and then cover it over with honey. When I make it, I'll take the jar and put it in a sunny windowsill and turn it over a couple of times a day. And I will let it infuse for about three weeks or so. The longer, the stronger, and the better. Then you can use the honey and spread it on toast or bagels or English muffins, or you can add it to your tea. So thank you guys for joining me on this Magic Monday as I explore what's growing in my garden. I look forward to talking with you again next time. Peace and blessings.